Experts estimate Texas Gigafactory to take 9 to 12 months for manufacturing to reach high output. Elon Musk, on the other hand, does not believe so. He acknowledged that Giga Texas will likely achieve its stride of output around the third quarter of this year, despite the fact that Giga Texas can create up to 2,000 automobiles per day. So, how can Giga Texas build electric automobiles at such a rapid pace at the time of confirmation? Hey everyone and welcome to Tesla News, where we bring you the newest and best updates about Tesla and Elon Musk. For daily videos, please consider subscribing to our channel. The Texas Gigafactory utilizes the much more current and advanced machines in its manufacturing, and it is the largest and most powerful vehicle factory. However, Gigascale has an ultimate ingredient that may increase Tesla's electric vehicle manufacturing capacity over 200% in a short period of time, prompting other large automakers to seek it out. The gigantic die casting tool. With a maximum operational capacity of 73.1 tons per day per machine and a cycle time of roughly 80 to 90 seconds, Giga Texas possesses three Gigapress 6,000 ton versions and one Gigapress 8,000 ton type. The Giga Texas plant is anticipated to create an average Model Y in 44 seconds. Furthermore, the model's bold one-piece die-cast body, innovative structural battery design, and Tesla Vision self-driving technology, which does not require radar sensors, help to streamline the manufacturing process and greatly reduce production time. When VW's Swago plant in Germany only produces a thousand new electric vehicles every day, the presence of four massive die-cast machines demonstrates Tesla's commitment to meeting its 20,000 per week vehicle manufacturing targets in order to facilitate future Giga Texas power production. Conversely, Volkswagen's Swagwa factory in Germany produces only a thousand new electric vehicles every day. Additionally, Tesla claims that its production lines are over 85% automated at the moment. The deployment of a significant number of automated robots solely on a single Model Y manufacturing line is the key contributor to the speed of Tesla's manufacturing line. 450 robots were deployed on one Model Y production process. CEO Elon Musk even remarked that we are driving robots to their limits in terms of speed and asking our companies to make robots move far faster. And they are astonished because they have never been asked those questions. Tesla's 4680 battery production line also helps to the factory's quick production pace. In fact, the company has revealed footage of its next generation 4680 battery cells getting created. As per a recent Tesla Rati story, Tesla appears to be in the midst of its deliberate production ramp at its newest factory, Giga Texas. This is to be expected given that the factory only recently formally launched. However, concerns linger about how quickly Tesla would be able to ramp up not only Model Y production, but also vehicle deliveries as the quarter progresses. According to Tesla Rati, CEO Elon Musk had this to say regarding the production ramp. Now with new factories, the initial ramp always looks small, but it grows exponentially. So I have very high confidence in the teams of both factories, and we expect to ramp those initially slowly, but like I said, growing exponentially with them achieving high volume by the end of this year. In contrast to typical battery production facilities, Tesla's footage of its 4680 battery production line showed that the company's degree of automation had achieved unparalleled heights. If Tesla develops a hyper-automated approach for making its 4680 battery cells, the business may wind up further separating itself from its competition. Because all major automakers continue to use modular battery packs that need extensive human assembly in the near future, Giga Texas will deploy the humanoid robot TeslaBot to help the plant raise its production capacity of electric automobiles many times. A source revealed that Tesla covertly tested its TeslaBot prototypes on the Texas Gigafactory floor. TeslaBot will have to carry out different orders given to it by a person, ranging from simple requests to much more difficult tasks. Going to the grocery store, for example, it will be extremely exciting to observe practically the whole crew of the Giga Texas facility as the mighty TeslaBot team that will truly usher in a new age in the world's manufacturing industry. Another element that allows Giga Texas to make electric cars so quickly is that the Austin facility builds everything under one roof from batteries and motors to the finished cars rolling off the assembly lines. As a result, unlike other manufacturers, parts of electric vehicles are also made on site, making Giga Texas one of the most vertically integrated facilities in the automotive industry. Elon condensed the whole manufacturing process into nine words. Raw materials and lots of stuff happen in car out. This demonstrates that Tesla learned a lot from the factory in California, where the structures of buildings were all distinct. There is lots of mobility between the buildings. Thus, all production activities at Giga Texas take place under one roof. 
saving employees not only travel time at the Kiki Texas factory, but also reducing additional severances. A financial expert, Kevin Pathray, commented on Giga Texas, noting that they are bringing raw materials into this manufacturing. They're not shipping in batteries or motors. They're assembling everything in this plant. Furthermore, one of the little known secrets to Giga Texas rapid production capability is the factory workers' incredibly productive work environment. According to a close Tesla source, the company began with just one shift, but it is longer and continues for more days than the Giga Texas factory's regular conditions. A former Tesla Giga Texas employee revealed that workers had begun working at night and would be working three shifts. InsideEVs.com posted an article in which it says, no matter which drone flyover videos you watch, it's quite clear that the Texas factory is in high gear. In fact, this has been the case for many months, even long before Tesla hosted the official grand opening and delivery party at the factory. Keep in mind that the company plans to produce 1.5 million vehicles in 2022, which would be an epic feat considering it made about 930,000 in 2021 and just shy of 500,000 in 2020. It also says, the Texas factory is massive compared to Tesla's other production facilities and also highly advanced. It's hyper-focused on only the Model Y for now, though the upcoming Tesla Cybertruck and Semi will be produced in Texas in the future. So that they can work around the clock, this will effectively double the factory's productivity. Tesla's focus on accelerating Giga Texas factory output is so keen that experts anticipate Giga Texas will outperform Giga Berlin in terms of speed. Furthermore, Giga Texas is steadily moving towards self-sufficiency in raw material supply for battery manufacture. The electric car manufacturer is diversifying its battery material suppliers and is set to reach an agreement to lessen its reliance on Chinese battery supplies. InsideEVs.com also says, Nonetheless, as shown in the drone flyover above, employee lots are nearly full and Model Y crossovers are collecting in the staging lots. Tesla Roddy also directs our attention to loading areas for car carriers, of which there appears to be 18 spots at this point. Multiple reports have also claimed that car carriers full of Model Ys have already been leaving the factory, potentially on their way to customers. This will assist in shortening the time it takes to import raw materials and battery manufacturing from China. The Biden administration is also seeking to safeguard the battery supply chain for electric vehicle makers. President Joe Biden, in particular, is bolstering his electric vehicle ambitions by proposing a $3 billion commitment on Monday to enhance the supply of lithium-ion batteries in the United States. The action is intended to combat climate change while simultaneously making the United States more energy independent and secure, according to authorities. The financing will assist grants focused on developing, retooling, or increasing the manufacturing of batteries, including battery components. As per the Energy Department, these funds will be financed by President Joe Biden's $1 trillion nonpartisan infrastructure initiative, which includes an over $7 billion U.S. dollars to bolster infrastructure, the country's battery distribution network, said Equipment Coordinator and Senior Biden Advisor Mitch Landro. To help make electric vehicles work, we also need to increase production of lithium-ion batteries, and we need responsible and sustainable domestic sourcing of this critical material used to make lithium-ion batteries, such as lithium cobalt nickel and graphite, he added. So this was all. Add your thoughts in the comments section below. Also like, subscribe, and share our channel. We will see you soon with our next video, so be with us. And if you like this video, be sure to check out our other videos. Thank you so much for watching.